This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at metallic bonding. Let's start by looking at the properties of metals. Metals such as this gold are shiny unless they become tarnished in air. Metals are ductile, which means they can be drawn into wires. Copper is used in electrical wires because it's a very good conductor of electricity. Metals such as iron have high melting points. They are also good conductors of heat, which is why they're used to make saucepans. And finally, metals are malleable, which means they can be bent into shape without cracking. Next we look at the metallic bond. The metallic bond is the electrostatic attraction between a lattice of positively charged metal ions and delocalized electrons. In this diagram on the left, we can see the metallic structure. The metallic structure is composed of a lattice of positive metal ions and delocalized electrons. So the metallic bond is the electrostatic attraction between the lattice of positive metal ions and the negatively charged delocalized electrons. These delocalized electrons within the metallic structure allow metals to conduct heat and electricity. They also reflect light, making metals shiny. As we saw earlier, metals are malleable and ductile. This means they can be bent into shape and drawn into wires. This is because the layers can slide over each other when metals are bent, hammered or stretched without breaking the metallic bond. In this diagram, we can see that the layers in the metallic structure can slide over each other without breaking the metallic bond. This allows metals to be bent, stretched or hammered into shape. The strength of the metallic bond is determined by the charge on the metal ion and the ionic radius of the metal ion. So here we have two ions for comparison. We have the sodium ion and the magnesium ion. The sodium ion has a one positive charge and the magnesium ion has a two positive charge. If we compare the ionic radius, we can see that the magnesium ion has a smaller ionic radius. And finally, the melting point, we can see that magnesium has a much higher melting point than sodium. So the strength of the metallic bond depends on two factors, that's the charge on the ion and the ionic radius. Magnesium with the greater charge on the ion and the smaller ionic radius has the higher melting point. Therefore, the greater the charge on the ion and the smaller the ionic radius, the stronger the metallic bond and the higher the melting point. So let's end with a summary. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity because of the delocalized electrons in their structures. Metals are malleable and ductile. This is because the metallic bond remains intact even if the structure is distorted. And finally, metals are shiny. This is because the delocalized electrons in the metallic structure reflect light.